This vlog, which I'm currently trying to shoot after several months of you know not vlogging, um, the channel has been very inactive for the past couple of months, and I just wanted to give you guys an update, you know, explain why things have been the way they are, what happened since we graduated, and yeah, everything. So I guess this is that vlog. <laughs> For those of you that are new here, um, I am um, a medical student who graduated from Dao Medical College located in Karachi, Pakistan as of April 2021 and I gave my step exams, step one, step two after my graduation and then I'm currently in the United States for my um, US clinical rotations. Um, in order to apply for residency, you need a couple of months of experience to familiarize yourself with the American healthcare system, which is definitely very different from what it's like in Pakistan. And then at the end of each rotation, you try to get um, an LOR, which is a letter of recommendation by making sure you work and you know you put in a good imp um, impression in front of the doctors who you're, who you're rotating with. And then those letter of recommendation, your step scores and everything count to apply for the US residency. So that's the path I'm on. And hopefully, hopefully when this video is up, it means I have matched and you know, yeah, so that's the path I'm on. And I thought I, thought I would document this journey and upload it after the whole process. Yeah. I'm here right now in the United States for my rotation. I have it's currently 11 a.m. and I have to get to the hospital at around 6:30 p.m. So I would vlog my day until 6:30 p.m. because after that I would be inside the hospital and I do not want to vlog there. So yeah, I just want to show you my day and what it's like and the challenges and just catch up with you guys. It's currently 11:15 a.m. I've always wanted to try that transition. Then I went to have some lunch, 
then I went at 6.30, I went into the hospital. I'm currently posted at the CBICU. It's very interesting. It's, it's a different experience, you know, seeing how it's like, because during my medical school, I saw what it's like in civil hospital and now seeing what it's like in the United States, it's very different. What I can observe is that um, it's not just mainly dependent on one doctor. There's a whole team over here and everyone's very important. Whereas in Pakistan, it's mostly the doctor. It's like it's doctor centered. So that's very interesting to see. Um, and yeah, so what I'm doing is currently called an observership. So if you're, if you go for these rotations after um, your graduation, it's called an observership. And as you can tell by the name, you observe. You observe procedures, patient, doctor interaction, and whatnot. Whereas you do it, if you do it before an observe, uh, before graduation, it's called an elective. So yeah, that's more hands-on. So I'm doing what you call an observership. Um, it's been a pretty cool experience. And yeah, to answer the question, nobody has been asking. Um, the reason why we haven't been uploading, why I haven't been uploading is because I was in this journey. It's, 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 I'm still in this journey. I'm currently in this journey. And I just feel that there is no point talking about something when it's not done. Just because you're doing it does not make you the best person to guide others or, you know, document it. And I just didn't want, you know, extra accountability and that extra pressure. So there's that. There's this post, I think it's going to come up here somewhere, where it's like um, talking about your achievements or your journey gives you this false sense of achievement that makes you lazy. And I've, wit I've experience that in real life so I was like no it's better like work hard in silence and once you've accomplished it only then can you talk about it so um, yeah and that's what we if you look at our channel ever since it started that's what we've been trying to do when we were able when we recently when we took the MD cat that's when we spoke about it and then when you know when several years passed we tried to have some guests who recently took it to talk about it to provide the most authentic information um, I'm sorry if this vlog is all over the place um, I'm a bit rusty and I don't know what direction I'm supposed to take this and yeah I guess I would love to see your feedback I hope this journey ends well I hope when you guys are seeing it it has ended well and you know make sure you subscribe make sure you follow our Instagram and just support us and just follow our journey I guess yeah so see you next time